the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame. fame, fame. What up everybody, Charles Macro here today back again, jumping back into Medieval Dynasty. Okay guys, I, I had to jump in because I am seeing some things in this game that I've never seen before. And maybe I missed the update patch note or something, but look at this. I saw two deer chasing, excuse me, I saw two wolves chasing a deer. One is dead because I shot him with an arrow. The other one is just standing there. So they, they attacked this deer and took him out. Now look at this. I want to show y'all. This deer, I did not shoot at all. I shot this guy. He bled out. This, let me move these sticks. They were chasing him, and they actually ran right by me. That's why I shot him, because I, I was like, oh, Lord, I was a little afraid. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm trying to protect myself. Now, the other thing that I saw, and hopefully I can get this on camera. I'm, I'm going to edit this into the, to the video if I can find it. I was hunting, I was right by my hunting lodge, and I was hunting a deer, because I'm trying to get some leather uh, so that I can make some uh, some pouches. And my guy in the hunting lodge, now I've seen them chop trees before, and I've seen them go out, and you know, you see the little animation where they're plucking, uh, they're harvesting vegetables, you know, they're harvesting plants. He started shooting the deer with me. He was shooting the deer with me, and he shot him, so I backed up and just let him keep going. He took the deer out, then he skinned him, and the deer actually disappeared. So it wasn't just like this automated function. It all actually took place. And I'm like, wow, what have they added to the update? So let me know in the comment box. Um, and I'm gonna go check, I mean, I'm gonna go check, but y'all let me know in the comment box if you know about this, if you noticed it, where some new updates have actually added automated where you actually see the 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 motions we'll call it in the automation so you actually see well one you actually uh witness your people hunting for real now and also they added animals where they attack each other and maybe even attack humans like i was worried that you know maybe they'll attack my workers you know say i put the uh i put my excavator uh, my excavation joint right near the mine and i'm gonna put the mine there will they are the bears gonna attack my workers you know is that gonna ever happen or will animals attack bandits if they put bandits in the game is that gonna happen i'm very curious to see i'm very curious to see but look at my time and look at it's coming along look at this and we got a little mountain town i i haven't built on a flat area but what i'm gonna do to make to to make denotation of the wealth or property value property lines this is the beginning. This is this is the poor area, kind of, sort of, right? And this is where they work. So this will be, maybe, the, we'll call this the working area. And then once you go across the river, even though this is just like a stream, once you cross this, that's where the first set of houses are. And it's actually flat area once you cross this area over here. So I'm going to start building and expanding out this way. I'm going to do more houses here. Uh, maybe all my farmland will stay up there. Maybe I'll bring some more. And some of the tier three, my tier two and tier three buildings, they're going to be here. And we're going to jazz this up by the river. And this is where the wealthy and the elite uh, will continue to, to grow and flourish. And my career might be right there. I might move it. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I got to have my family living lavish. Uh, we also got to start doing some updates. So I need to make daub. I need to make daub. And daub is from clay. You know what? Actually, let me check my management real quick. Look at my people, man. They happy. Look at the mothers. 80%, 70% for the kids. Oh, I took one of my farmers away, too. I need to look at my planning cycles. Okay, so we can make daub. I do have them crafting daub now that we have what we need. Straw and clay. Yeah, I got all the, the clay uh, in the resource storage. Got the straw. So, yeah, we are crafting. Nice, nice, nice. I'm also thinking of getting rid of this workshop and just building another smithy until the smithy 2 becomes available because I want them to build iron things. I want them to build iron tools and equipment. It's taking a lot of sticks. I need more sticks. Like I might have to build another woodshed or at least upgrade this woodshed 1 to a woodshed 2 so we can have four people. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. So yeah, I need to recruit. There was a guy over here. I'm thinking of going over to this town though. He didn't have a lot of threes. And the only three he had was either crafting or survivalist. 
but I need some people for that can work in the woodshed when I do another woodshed. Um, and I actually need some more people who can craft because I'm going to build my tavern. I'm going to upgrade my tavern and put it in that new area we just talked about that I showed y'all. Maybe upgrade my sewing to a sewing too. That way I can have two people working in there as well. Like I, I got to do some recruiting and some upgrading. So I forgot that once again I was building the house. I was working on it, finishing it. My hammer broke. I came back, started doing other things, thinking about other things. Realized that I needed to recruit dude, so I recruited him. He doesn't have a home. Now I'm also working on a pouch and a simple backpack. This is like the second tier one from the sewing two station. I'm just letting them build it. I was gonna craft one myself, uh, but I got enough flax stalk, oh, excuse me, uh, leather, got iron, and got the simple backpack working. 12 leather, 10 linen, two fur, five sticks. Finally got that working. I could divert some more energy to it, but I'm, I'm gonna let it go the way it's going. And as soon as I get it, we'll have an upgrade. Okay guys, and we have our first event. It's right before winter. You feel inspired. You want to encourage your people to work harder. You could deliver a speech. That should put them in the right spirit. However, a poor one may discourage them. So I can deliver a speech. All villagers will work 15% more efficient. Deliver an inspiring speech. All would villagers work 30% more efficient. But my diplomacy will go from 3 to negative 5. Dog. Or maybe it's not such a good idea. Alright, I'm going to just deliver a regular speech. Okay, for this season. So it only lasts for a season. All villagers work 15% more efficient. Mm, my diplomacy would have been worse. Eh, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, we got our first event. A slew of inspiration. They are inspired. Look at my baby. Hey, babe. Mwah. Hey, son. Mwah. Oh, man. My family. Look at my family. Let me put out this torch. Let me put out the hammer. Honey, we gotta go to work. It's time for the new season. And we got a lot of repairs to do, dear. So, and actually, I need an iron hammer because I am using this wood hammer because my iron hammer <laughs> conked out on me. Ooh, and it's winter time. It's winter time. It's winter time again. Let's pick up sticks and see our friends and fill our hearts with gin. Nah, that's the best I could do right now. Now. <laughs> Alright, so huh, I got these winter repairs to do, so we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to craft me a hammer real quick. I got to see if my pouch has been crafted yet. Let me look and see if my pouch has been... Oh, you know what? Got to go in here into the research storage. And let's dump some birch branches in there too. Some some nice little tree branches. They always help. I built a second woodshed too, as we know. I built a house and I have four lumberjacks now. And I moved one up to the, uh, to the outpost area by the mine. Nah, they still haven't built it yet. Like it's taking a while. Let's go to our management tab. Let's go to sewing. Okay, they're almost there with the pouch and they're getting closer with the simple backpack. I'm going to bring this down a, a bit. Bring those down and we'll boost those just because we want them to get done quicker. Then I'll put back the energy. I won't even make these anymore. I'm going to put all the energy on linen thread and linen fabric. All right, let me get a couple pieces of iron. It's two iron and one stick for the iron hammer. Go ahead, craft us an iron hammer. We'll also do us a couple potage runs. A couple potage runs and make us some money. I'm at about 4,000 something, so I'll get over five, 6,000. Well, during winter, today I'll get over five, 6,000. I may get over about 7,000 for the winter. And uh, we're gonna start crafting uh, like shoes, like clothing items that can make money because those make good money. Uh, but right now I'm still doing potage until I um, get more efficient with my craft people. And we get more linen out. We just don't have a lot of linen yet, just yet. So yeah, got a little bit of linen fabric. I think we need linen thread. It's either fabric or thread, but once we get more of that, even if I have to do it manually, uh, then I start crafting uh, clothes. So we put the wooden hammer up and I have the iron one. We'll take about 80 of straw. That's about what, four kilograms. I wanna take these sticks, but I'm gonna leave them because they'll probably use them. I'm gonna take two logs because sometimes the repairs take logs and then the rest we'll do with sticks. All right, so our barn needs some repair. Going to repair that. Repair this roof. Bam. We are good there. Does this house? No. I need to make another wash pot. 
near my house. Okay, this is our food storage. Bam. And now that I have a food storage, a resource storage, and a house for the person working there, and then a woodshed down the road, but all of that is on top of the cave. The woodshed is down the road from the cave, but the house, the resource storage, and the food storage is uh, on top of that mountain. Next, I'm going to build another tavern. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to the tavern too. I have two woodshed twos, and so since we have those two woodsheds, that should produce enough wood, and um, I can actually probably a lot more to sticks now. Now, all of the people only have three, but I'm hoping their skills go up. And I think that's threes in crafting, so I might have to put somebody in the um, in the tavern. Although they weren't cooking fish, I had it so I was supposed to cook fish. Meat worked fine. It would do that cooked meat, whatever you call it. But the fish wasn't doing anything. It wasn't producing any fish, so got to fix that. Oh, let me get my house right. My wife in here. Hey, honey. Sorry, I had to get some sticks and stuff. Get this installation going on. Mine got to be the first upgrade, too. We got to go on an upgrade now that I have this daub. Uh, let's look real quick to see what an upgrade costs. Yeah, just daub. Yeah, we upgrading all this. We upgrading all this. All right, another house. Looks like we're good to go. Let's check our management tab just in case. Okay, looks like we made all our repairs, so we are good. And I do want to check my productivity on these woodsheds. I left this last one. I was going to tear it down. That way I can use the building. And I still may do that just to free it up. Yeah, and even these resource storages. I got to upgrade the one here in town. But I don't need to right now. I'm going to tear this one down as well. But let's let's see how we're looking on our production. Okay, 4.2. I might cut the plank for a while too, just during the winter. Probably won't build anything else where I need planks. So let's go on and put that on logs. So basically six is being produced in this woodshed. Six logs, 3.6. I would think two people would produce more. Okay, let me knock down these sticks. Okay, so that's five and what was that? Like six basically? So that's 11. Right now we're using 16. Goodness, cause it's winter though. So they use more. So yeah, I'm gonna have to leave that turned up. Leave that turned up for now. And I might even have to open this one up or make a third one. We might need a third one. We have two more housing slots. Yeah, one of four. I built a new house down here so he can have another person there with him and this one has two more. So I can recruit three more people. Again, long as there isn't a population limit, I can recruit two more people. All right, cool, cool, cool. So now we gotta figure out what we wanna do next. So besides running some potage and waiting on my simple bags to be produced so that I can uh, collect more and actually carry more potage, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the Tavern 2. So let's see how much it takes to build that Tavern 2. The Tavern 2 takes 10. So let's go on and chop us some logs. Let's get us 10 together. And let's get prepared for our Tavern Deuce. Now my town has developed here, right? and a lot of people are living there on the hill. I want my tavern to be right here. So when people come uh, from other lands, they come across this bridge, they'll see my tavern, they'll come in here and spend some money, right? And they come from this way, they come from wherever, they gonna spend money. And the road is right here. The road goes this way, but we can make our own road this way and we're gonna build housing and more work areas going around that way towards the lake. I'm going to go on and collect these branches and stuff. I think I'm going to probably need planks because this is going to be the tavern too. So yeah, I may need some planks. I can either put it on this side. Hmm. Or I could put it right here in the middle. Will it fit right here? Because this is kind of like a crossroads. Yeah, right there. We had a little tavern there and the big tavern here. And maybe have it facing this way to welcome these newcomers instead of facing that way. Mm, okay, let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Okay, it won't work right there. Let's see about over here. Over here by the reeds. Oh, there we go.
Okay, we can build it this way. Yeah, I want it facing the bridge though. I don't want it facing away from the bridge. So, all right, so let me make sure I am perpendicular with the road. Bam, there we go. The new tavern. The new tavern. And let's see what we need to build it. Okay, logs, planks for the roof. It's gonna be a lot of planks. And I think planks are counting towards my firewood for the winter. Mm. I'm gonna have to craft a lot of wood. I need to get a wood shed by a uh, resource storage. All right, let's get some of this inventory off us. We don't need straw, so I can get rid of that. We don't need sticks, so I can get rid of that. Oh, my pouch is done. My pouch is finished. Okay, let's take that pouch. And we're waiting on the backpack, which will add a lot more. So let's go ahead and equip our pouch real quick. Let's go on and check this out. We got the pouch. We have 35K limit. Ah, the pouch made it a 41K limit. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. When we get that backpack, that might put us over 50. So planks. Dog, I don't want to use all our planks. But we're going to have to use some of these. Okay, wood is 143 right now, right? Let me check this out. So if we take, say, 10 planks. We've taken 10 planks. It went down to 132. Okay, so planks do count into firewood. But we got to use it to build. That's why we've been crafting all of these so that's 30 planks so let's go over here and let's see how much roof 30 planks will take care of and dog i'm gonna need planks for the sewing joint too building up our tavern too okay so that's one half okay two halves okay Okay, so you got the side panels. So I'm gonna be just a little bit short. 30 took care of the roof, but I need 36. So I need six more and then I'm gonna bring logs. Yeah, this is gonna cut into our firewood. But again, it's what must be done. It's what must be done to evolve. It's a part of evolution. We'll put some of these birch branches in here. Burn that in your fireplace. Put that in your fireplace and burn it. Yeah, we we really taking from our winter firewood 104. But we still over 100, so that's good. We still over 100. And I'm going to keep collecting sticks and putting those in there to help out as well. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Getting this roof knocked out. Bam. Bam. And got the planks and the log. Bam. Roof done. Roof done. Wow. Now these are all seven for each wall. Are these all separate? Yeah, these are separate panels. So seven... And it's seven all the way around. Wow. One, two, three. So that's 21. So that's 42. And then 28 is 56. 56 and 42. Goodness, that's almost 100. We need almost 100 logs to complete this thing. Wow. I'm going to have to go chop. I can't take that many logs from my resource storage. That's too many logs. I'm going to see how many logs I can actually hold, though. And I'm going to take those from the resource storage. And then I'll replenish them. So without removing more items, we can hold 12 logs. Okay, that's a little bit better. Or I can do about 15 and just be over uh, encumbered. Okay, and luckily our research is a resource is right here close to it. So we don't have as far to go. So I'm gonna work on this. We are gonna grind this out. Get this tavern done. It's gonna take a few trips. And it's gonna even take some chopping trees. But I will be back in a minute and we'll get this knocked out. 
and our other pouch may get done, which will get us maybe 10 more kilograms that we can uh, carry. Woo, guys. All right. So I have been grinding all night long, all night long. Look, got all this built and I have some more logs to pick up. It's probably going to over encumber me. Yeah. Yeah, but that's okay. Because I still needed like 36-ish to finish this up. There it is. Cool, cool, cool. So, yes, we're going to finish up. We're going to finish up the tavern, too. Then I'm going to go recruit. I need to go recruit someone to... um. Cause I have one new guy, but I put him on the woodshed. And, oh, that is another thing I just discovered uh, while I was grinding. The winter is harsh. And a lot of uh, wood is being used. A lot of logs for lumber. Yes, yeah, this is the closed-in tavern. So the tavern one is outdoors. Bam. Nice. Nice. Oh, we getting snow inside. I got to work on that. Nice, nice, nice. So this is our old tavern. This is where it all started. This one right here by the brook. And then this is our new tavern. Oh, if they ever give us the chance to like customize and uh, put signage on our buildings. Maybe add some different colors of staining to the wood. Yo. Yo. Nice. We are coming along. So again, it's right here by the bridge. That way when visitors come in, you know, they visit the town, they hit our tavern, put some money into our economy. I can build some things that way. Uh, build the houses up here so the house area is right here people go work over there they got that tavern by the work the lower grade then they got the upper grade it's gonna go to the little fancier area be some all upscale housing over here and, and you know what I'm saying places of work places of recreation and things and things of that nature <sighs> so that's what's up that's what's up so yes we got the tavern two built again I might have a couple people ready to go in it uh, by the next episode yeah, that wood is going fast. I had to do a couple rounds of chopping wood uh, last night because at night they're not working. So you're getting no logs made. So, yes, that was bad. That was bad. I had to, uh, I actually got them and then I chopped up a lot of firewood. Um, oh, let me show you this one last thing before we get out of here, too. So I did craft the, let me show you. I did craft a simple backpack, which added like 10, 10, 15 more kilograms of 15. So now we can carry 56 kilograms. So that helped quite a bit. Uh, I was able to carry about 20 uh, back and forth as I worked on this. So yeah, that's how we did it. Or not this one, but you know the other one. <laughs> so that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, Dad? Debra Woja. Dobra Woja. So yes, things are coming along. I built on top of the outpost. I'm probably gonna tear down that, that first, or it was technically the second resource storage that I built uh, because I don't really need it now. Um, I'll probably build a third one, but I'm gonna put it over on the other side by the new, yeah, over in this direction. Uh, put another resource. I'll probably tear it down, move it there. And I may do a third woodshed. I have a third when nobody's working it. So I either put one or rebuild it as a woodshed too. Now that I've moved the outpost up to the top of the mountain, I have a house up there. I have a resource storage and a food storage. I um, have to make sure those don't deteriorate. Uh, okay, so I was going to run some food. I wanted to get that done. So what I'm going to do is do a cabbage potage run. Now that I have more room that actually, oh yeah, I can put these logs in here too. I need to do two runs of the money runs, going to sell some potage. And I do plan to upgrade the sewing station. I may do that in between episodes, upgrade that to a sewing station too. Uh, just really try to get all of our work, all of our work benches or work equipment, work facilities, uh, try to get all of our work buildings up to a level two so we can have more people working. We'll just say 10 hours, that's 160. I gotta get it over 160 wood before the night hits when they get off work because we run out fast my food is crazy we do need some type of transportation devices because i could be selling all that extra food you got so much food that you can't use it all and it will spoil so yeah we definitely need some uh transportation all right so i'm gonna do this potage run go on and uh, do a couple money runs 
I also gotta find out why in the tavern we aren't really producing any roasted fish unless they're eating it because I got them making it but I haven't seen any I haven't seen any in these stories yet I used to see roasted meat but never the roasted fish so I don't know if that's a glitch and it's not actually pulling the roasted fish or not I don't know I want to have them cook the potage but they cook it so slow it's almost pointless but with this amount of money I should get close to I should get close to a thousand if you can do one run of a thousand again this is gonna take a while you can walk away from it all right guys so I'm gonna do this off camera again do a couple money runs and then I'll do a little firewoodage and then I'm gonna uh, look at my management make sure everybody's running efficiently and map out what we're gonna build next and again I'm gonna do a few things off camera and do some customizing of the village all right so hit me in that comment box guys make sure you like make sure you subscribe share this so others can check this out your tips your info you know it's always appreciated guys Charles Macro medieval dynasty thank you for stopping through and I'm gonna holla at you Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame.